using the Laplace transform to solve this system of linear equations. So first, apply the the derivative theorem on for both of these. So I have. S capital X of S minus X of 0 plus 3 capital X of S plus S capital Y of S minus Y of 0 equals 1 over S. This one, S X of S minus X of 0 minus capital X of S plus S capital Y of S minus Y of 0 minus capital Y of S equals 1 over S minus 1. Hopefully you can, uh, you can see it, yes. Now, plug in the conditions. <coughs> Since both of x of 0 and y of 0 equals 0, so I love to see these, these drop out. Simplify this a little bit. So, this and this factor capital X of S out. I have S plus 3 equals 1 over S minus S capital Y of S. This one, take a look at this. <coughs> take a look at this first and factor out capital S of S. I have S minus one. And for this one, factor out capital Y of S, I have S minus 1 equals 1 over S minus 1, okay? Now for this one, divide both sides by S plus 3. <coughs> okay, now for this one, let's see. Yeah, for this one. Uh, divide both sides by. Uh, should I do this? No, I'm gonna solve for. Okay, so divide both sides by solve for x capital S of S. So I have 1 over S minus 1 squared minus capital Y of S. <coughs> okay. Now since uh, capital X of S equal this and it's also equal this. So let these equal to each other. I have 1 over S times S plus 3 minus S capital S Y of S over S plus 3 equals 1 over S minus 1 squared minus capital Y of S. Right? Uh, move this to one side and factor it out. So I'm going to move this to the left side and factor it out. So I have this. Okay. Now multiply with top and bottom by S plus 3 to get rid of the fraction. Okay, S minus S, so I have positive 3 capital uh, Y of S equal for this one. Uh, here's a trick, so I'm going to show you the trick here. So I wish I have S minus 1 on top to simplify this. So what I can do is to make it S minus 1 on top. Right? And then I have to fix it, of course. So I'm going to ask for over S minus 1 squared. Okay, so same denominator, add the exponent, uh, add the top together, S minus 1 plus 4, 4 minus 1 is 3, so you have S plus 3, exactly the same this one, but it's, it's in a different way, okay? So doing this allow me to simplify this. And then, you know, I also divide both sides by 3. So this over this, I have 1 third S minus 1 plus 4 third S minus 1 squared 
Well, that's one over three, yes. Okay. Now, apply the inverse on both sides. I have one third e to the t plus four third. So, if you ignore this, you have s squared, and the inverse of s squared is t. And since you have a shift, you are going to have e to the t, similar to this one, minus one third. So, this is your answer of y t, and you're not done yet. You remember you're solving the system of linear equations, so you have you need to have two equations. Since I already found y of s, now I need to solve for x of s. So y of s is this. Uh, yeah, y of s is this. Plug this back in here. Uh, I'm gonna call this one. Two. Okay. Two in one. I have half of x of s equal one over s minus one squared minus y of s. Capital y of s and capital y of s is this. So I have one third s minus one minus four third s minus one square plus one third s all right so this is this simplify it i have four third minus three negative one third s minus one squared all right now take the inverse of this one i have this so negative one third t e to the t minus one third e to the t plus one third so this is what uh, your uh, x of t equation and uh, that's it if you find the video is helpful feel free to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything i'll see you next time